ES Audio. What's up? I'm John Weeks, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, the drive through that uses AI to take your order. But first, it's time to talk about Google's I.O. event. The tech giant announced three new Pixel devices, a folding phone, the new Pixel 7a and a tablet, all of which we were expecting. But a huge proportion of the event was actually focused on, you guessed it, artificial intelligence. Pretty much any update they're making now, there is going to be a, a role for AI in it. And it shows just how far it's come from being a, a sort of subject that's at the fringe of consumer technology to being at the complete hard spit and touching almost everything they, they do. Our tech reporter, Simon Hunt, has been looking through Google's biggest AI announcements. They include new tools for things like Sheets and Docs, its version of Excel and Word, and the function that lets you create your own personal phone background simply by describing what you want to see. But Simon said it feels like the tech giant is just trying to jump on the current hype around AI. I don't know how much of it is about them genuinely thinking that a lot of the technology that they are developing can only be developed to its full extent with the use of AI and how much of it is just everyone's talking about AI, people want AI, let's invent some AI stuff and give it to them. Google also revealed a feature for searching online called AI Snapshots, which adds more context to your search and offers to answer follow-up questions. Simon told us all of these announcements maybe aren't as groundbreaking as we might have hoped for. There's been tons of warnings recently by people who have been in the AI industry for decades saying we need to put a pause on this, we need to think about the potential dangers of AI, but all of the announcements have been pretty anodyne, you know, I I can't see there being a huge danger to an AI powered wallpaper generator. Staying with Google's artificial intelligence. Wendy's, can I take your order? Yeah, just a burger, fries and a soda, please. US fast food chain Wendy's is going to start using their AI technology to take drive through orders. It's being trialed in June at one of its restaurants in Columbus, Ohio. Wendy's has essentially plugged Google's tech into its fast food database and said that interacting with the chatbot is no different than speaking to a human. The BBC's managing director of Eurovision says their preparations for a potential Russian cyber attack are in a really good place. The event was meant to be held in Ukraine, but was moved to the UK because of Russia's invasion, prompting fears of possible interference. Russia was banned from competing in the contest last year after invading Ukraine. A specialist team from the European Broadcasting Union and the National Cyber Security Centre have been working with the BBC ahead of the week-long event in Liverpool. A chance discovery at a museum in Oxfordshire has led experts to believe pliosaurs, marine reptiles from the late Jurassic period, may have grown to twice the size of a killer whale. University of Portsmouth paleontologists believe a species of pliosaur potentially grew 14.4 metres long. Professor David Martill from the University of Portsmouth made the discovery after identifying three large vertebrae as being closely related to a pliosaurus species or similar animal. Pliosaurs had heads like a crocodile, four flippers which acted as powerful paddles to propel them through the water, and had protruding teeth possibly bigger than a T-Rex's. Scientists believe we are entering a new era of scientific research thanks to a major genetics breakthrough, and it's all based on how we study people's DNA. For the last 20 years, scientists have used a human reference genome put together using information from just 20 people from the same part of North America. However, researchers from the International Human Pangenome Reference Consortium have now released a new DNA blueprint called a pangenome sequence, which maps out the genomes of 47 people and more accurately reflects diversity in the human population. Experts say it means our ability to use genetic information to diagnose diseases increases enormously and will benefit people from all ancestries, unlike our current reference genome. Coming up, Uber enters the booking flights game and how to use AI to find your perfect match. During the break, remember to vote on our poll in the show notes. Would you let AI flirt for you? Welcome back. 
Whether you're whizzing off on holiday from Manchester Airport to Spain or set to fly from Heathrow to New York on a business trip, in the not too distant future, you could be booking your flight through Uber. The ride hailing firms announced you'll soon be able to book both domestic and international flights from the UK on the app. Uber's UK general manager, Andrew Brem, said booking will take as little as one minute to complete, and with some airlines, you'll be able to book your seat on the app too. The feature's set to be available to all UK users this summer. Now, scientists in the US believe we could one day have a breathalyzer device that attaches to our phone, detects viruses, and checks our lung health in real time. The University of Colorado Boulder's initial study using the breathalyzer, which is powered by AI, found it detected COVID-19 in real time with excellent accuracy. It works by shooting mid-infrared lasers into a patient's mouth at thousands of different frequencies and interpreting how each kind of molecule absorbs light. The team behind it hoped that it could revolutionize medical diagnostics and is now looking at a range of other diseases. And finally, would you trust AI to pick your perfect partner? Well, it seems the technology is creeping into dating apps. The latest example is Teaser AI, an app that gives you your own chatbot that can message others on your behalf. The AI bot works by learning about you through your profile and chats, then uses that info to power its convos with other AI personas on the app. Teaser AI says the bot can give others a sense of who you are and vice versa as a sort of icebreaker, so you can then focus on things like swapping phone numbers and asking to go on a date. You're up to date. Come back at four o'clock and search for The Leader Podcast for the latest news from the Evening Standard. We are back tomorrow afternoon at one. See you then.